Joining me now for our P-Wolves profile is Nebraska Wesleyan baseball coach John Rypel, who just took over the program this year. John, tell us a little bit about yourself. Introduce us to the Wesleyan community and your path to Nebraska Wesleyan. Yeah, well, I'm uh, originally from the state of Ohio, so I'm a Buckeye. So I probably lost uh, some Husker fans already. Um, but yeah, so I played at a, a junior college in Ohio and then finished up playing at Shawnee State University, which is in southern Ohio. Um, and started my coaching career in the state of Tennessee at Maryville College, uh, Maryville, Tennessee Division III school. I was a pitching coach and recruiting coordinator um, there. And then my first head coaching stop was actually uh, north of Boston at a school called Gordon College in, in Wenham, Massachusetts, another NCAA Division III school. Um, then my next stop, uh, I was a head coach for four years at Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, again, another NCAA Division III school. And Thought that was going to be it. That was a you know fantastic job, but then um, opportunity rose at, at UAB, uh, Division One program in, in Conference USA. Um, so it was working under those coaches. It was too good of an opportunity to pass up, and it was almost like a paid internship um, to continue to develop. So, um, so that's where I was in the spring of 2019 uh, with the Blazers down at UAB, and, and then um, this opportunity arose. So that's kind of where I am today. You worked with Ron Polk at Alabama yes, Birmingham, a, a familiar name to a lot of folks who follow the College World Series. Uh, yeah, that was that was probably. It's funny. I got more calls throughout last spring about tell me about Coach Polk than I did. Hey, how are you guys doing on the field? Um, give me a Coach Polk story. That was always the call I'd get. Uh, but that was you know, and it was not just Coach Polk, but Coach Brian Shute, um, the head baseball coach, who um, he'll be an ABCA Hall of Famer as well. So. To learn from those two guys um, over the last year was was fantastic, and it really it honestly changed um, a lot of my coaching methods. Um, so I am a, a better coach uh, for sure for this opportunity that I had last year at UAB. What brought you to Nebraska Wesleyan? Um, I think the, the just there's a lot of good going on here, uh, and I think this is kind of a sleeping giant. I think when it comes to NCAA Division three baseball, I mean you look at our our, our location is fantastic. Um, we're one of, if not the top academic school in the state of Nebraska. The opportunity to recruit um, very well in the state of Colorado and, and Kansas City and even into California. So um, you see the success that our men's basketball program has had over the last couple of years. And, and I think we can we can have similar similar success here with the baseball program. So, um, you know, when I interviewed, um, you know, just walking around campus, I mean, it just um, it seemed like a like a great fit. What do you expect in the American Rivers Conference? What kind of a quality baseball conference is it? Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Uh, you know, I know um, you know Co uh, was very good last year, and they were you know made it to the Super Regionals of, of Division Three, so they were right there on the cusp of going to to the World Series. So obviously, they returned probably one of the best uh, pitching staffs in the country, um, and you know, and Buena Vista is always good. Um, you know, Luther, Dubuque. So, yeah, it's going to be very, very competitive. I'm excited to kind of compete against these guys and, you know, have a better feel come come May and June of kind of, you know, um, what the conference is all about. You know, some leagues are pitching leagues or hitting leagues. So I'll be curious to see um, what this league looks like. But I think it's going to be very, very competitive. Mm -hmm. Settling in in Lincoln these days then? Uh, for sure, actually. we, uh, Our family, um, we actually uh, live in the suburbs of Omaha. Um, for my wife's career, that was a... a a really good opportunity um, for us to live in that and and let her commute to Omaha and me have the, a little longer commute but but no I'm, I'm enjoying Lincoln and, and enjoying Omaha and enjoying um, you know being in, in, in Nebraska and of course living in, in Grand Rapids Michigan for four years we're used to winners um, and actually these winners pale in comparison to 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 Grand Rapids which felt more like Alaska for about four months out of the year so so no but we're settling in and and um, you know really excited to, to get rolling with these guys so all right, well, John, thanks for being our P-Wolves profile. Welcome to Nebraska Wesleyan. Yeah, thank you for your time. All right, John Reifel, the head baseball coach now at Nebraska Wesleyan. And P-Wolves profiles are brought to you by home real estate agent Kathy Dixon, the Wild Bird Habitat store with two locations in Lincoln, Leach Camper Sales, where the coffee's always on, and Andy Van Horn and the Van Horn team at State Farm.